नमस्कार मंडळी तर चला हरिहरेश्वर मंदिराच्या मागे प्रदक्षिणेच्या मार्गे जाऊ I'm looking in the mirror so foggy but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me and honestly I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy there's no risk if you don't try it anything so I'm gonna just keep buying everything see you in the next life have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight got to flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray what's wrong with me I just feel way pushing on my chest and it's squeeze till I suffocate better change my mindset meditate it's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk see here I should celebrate think I could change my mind maybe be elevate living life every day made a night not okay all i want and i pray all i need for some better days yeah all i need for some better days is all i and welcome guys welcome from the mumbai travel vlogger so as you have seen the photos the videos pics the cinematics that was of hari hareshwar where they have the way around the mountain top so we just were there and now we are come to the sunrise point which we should have actually come earlier in the morning but just how it looks it is just beside mtdc hariareshwar and this is the crossover to to the other side to velas as you can see in the straight ahead that is the velas island where, where they have the turtles nesting and this is the area where they where we also get to see the dolphins which i got to see but it was just on time when i started the video shooting it <laughs> they all disappeared so this is me and nikki on a riding spree today as there's a we had little time spare so we are on our way to a small getaway let's see how far can we get so let's go ahead so as to have just a small story so as to have just a small story as we have found out it was 
time of the Peshwas that Bajirao was here born in 16th August 1700 and he died quite early at seven at the age of 39 in 1740 but as a Peshwa, he was commissioned from 1920 till his untimely death. So it is said that he had come here and rejuvenated, restructured this place of Hari Hareshwar, this temple area. So that's how we get to see this temple Hari Hareshwar because it was that there was a some minor fire which had caught the temple and they say it was he who got it back as a temple as you see it right now a good religious place and the temple has two main temples what is the temple and the second is the hariyareshwar temple which is actually when you go over there you have to actually first visit the temple and then go to the Hariyareshwar temple and you should go back forward to your journey to whatever you want to do but that is what their rituals say so that is the way they go to this temple and visit the place which has its own Bhakti Nivas which at 500 rupees per person a small homely stay, not too luxurious, but just for the people who have come there to visit the place, to visit the temple special. So friends, welcome to a new place where we have found very quiet, very calm and by the noise, as you can see, it is beach where there's no one else except dirt I think if you can see in the background so this is called as Velas Agar in, a, in the distance away which you can see is called as the Divya Agar beach and just side beside that this area is called as Velas Agar so something new I found, we have found today total the coastal area of Konkan just beside Dive Agar so this is what we have come to from Hari Hareshwar so we are doing this coastal route along the Dive Agar coast and we will be going towards Murud Janjira Super place, you can definitely visit this place. As you can see, this is the Divyagar area, and this beach is the Velas Agar. Real good place, it's clean, clean vibes, clean water, except people are using it, misusing the place, as in this that has gone on and the dirt has been left over here itself so stop yourselves from keeping dirt around bring what is with you and also take back what is with you don't leave any dirt anywhere keep the place clean this is our home our place where we stay so try to keep the place as clean as possible so let's go ahead, let's ride.
So here we are from my little head. This is a little rocky beach. A little head from the Velas Agar. The same area. A lot of work going on along this coast. But look, just look at this view, man. Just look at this view. Look at the clear white, white water, white sand. Woo! This is another small, I think, fishing, local fishing area. So here we have the uh, Velas Agar. This beach is called as uh, Vardgao Beach. Vardgao Beach. Small fishing community out here. All fishery, fishing boats out here. Nice clean water, seagulls searching for food. And this is maybe the jetty where they get all the fish. So this is the inner side of Dibe Agar, Vela Sagar and now Adgao Beach. And this is proper Adgao Beach. Wow. Hi, gushing waves. Good walk. Good sea beach. Very cool place. But no much of tourist in this area. Nobody promoting tourism over here. Because it's a small village out here. Argao village. The school just in front of the beach. Cool place, man. Ardgao Beach. Ardgao. It's on the way to the Digi Jetty. So now we are traveling to the Digi Jetty to cross over to Marut Janjira. Wow. 